Welcome back to Suladan Plays Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, I think we were talking to what's-her-face in the canteen. I don't remember what we were doing. I know Athorians are involved in the thing and... Uh... I think that's the only way forward, I guess. I don't... Maybe I do need to get rid of her boss. Still don't trust her. Yo. Oh, you're back. How would this work? I can get you into the exchange suites in residential 082. When yeah, Slust's yeah, yeah. out of the way, fine, whatever. We'll speak again then. I never technically said I would kill him. I just agreed to enter the exchange. Uh, also, I hear you. I need night speed. I hear you. You say the word. Fast. And now I'm glowing. I don't mind if you do that, but you warn me before you do that. How do I get... Now I don't remember how to get back to where I'm trying to go. Is this... I think it's this. And now I go over here and try to get back into the exchange and Beh. You have no business with the exchange. Get out of here. Luxa sent me. I hope you know what you're getting into, human. No. No. Uh, one moment. Alexa, cancel. Okay, I have learned that Luxa sounds a lot like Alexa, and that might not be a good thing. <laughs> I don't know what it was looking up, but something on Wikipedia. <laughs> anyway, into the exchange we go. I have no idea what he said. Jedi Watchman, stop telling me about things I haven't seen yet. I'm gonna have to stop reading loading screen. I'm terribly sorry, but there must be some sort of mistake. I don't have a record of your appointment. Are you certain it was for today? Who are you? There's no mistake, you'll open the door. You know what? There must be a mistake in the Yay! system. Why don't I open that door for you? What was your name? Yay! I love Force Persuade. Excuse me, Lopax Lusk's appointment has arrived. Please open the inner door. There you are. Have a good day. You wow. too, ma'am. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Yo! Uh, you're not who I'm looking for. No, I needed to talk to Slusk. Actually, I just needed to explore and see if there's anything to loot, but... Uh... You have a lot of nerve coming here, Jedi, with the bounty we have on your kind. What do you want? Who are you? I'm here representing Chodo Habat. You... What? I get very specific instructions regarding that hammerhead and any of his cronies. Who let this idiot in? Matu, bring me whoever's working the door. Nahada, tell Chodo if he sends anyone else, we'll come after him and Banak. Dust this foolish Jedi. With pleasure. I mean, y'all tried to kill me first, so I think I have the moral high ground here. Oh, uh, it says ex exchange. I thought it said expendable. Uh, so I guess Matu's dead. Well, he'll handle himself. Are you where that came from? Y'all have a trouble. I you're 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 not blind, Kraya. You're shooting him, I guess. I don't know. I don't have to tell them what to do. They use their skills. I forgot. Focus. People just falling like flies. Dropping like flies. I love knowing that I can trust Focus. my team to actually do things and not have to constantly micromanage them. There any loot? <gasps> yes. You can stop with the battle music. You can stop with the battle music. Remains, you say. 
I got a gun. Hi. Looks I sent you, yes. We will leave soon, not fight you. Go now. Oh, okay. We're in balls. Looks I said you are strong. I get you inside. We see how strong you are. Boss, Matu is here with Kubis from the door. You want to see him now? Yeah, yes, I will send him. Yeah. What? Whoever led you back here better be dead, or they better be wishing they were when my droids are through with you. You have fancy droids, and I don't approve of that. I have to say. <laughs> Okay, you two need to be doing things, though. You have disabled droid, too. And you keep doing it. You've handled yourself well getting this far, but if you think things over carefully, I can be a very valuable ally. Just what is it you want? To join the exchange? Money? I just want you to leave the Athorians alone. What? All this trouble just for that? You tried to kill me when I told you that before, so yeah. Aha, it seems we have some visitors. I was wondering when you'd show up, Luxa. Slusk. I assume this was all you're doing. I may have had a hand in this, yes. I suppose I should have known. You always were an ambitious one. Enough with that, though. On to the business at hand. I don't think it's possible that all of us will be leaving this room alive. Uh, are you sure we can't just talk about this? <laughs> Only if that agreement involves Luxa's termination. No, oh, no, the cat's in the attic again. I can. Oh. Uh, I shall return. For those wondering, this is Midnight, otherwise known as Rafter Cat. He finds his way into our attic once in a while because he's following the sound of my voice, because he gets lonely outside. And he wants to be cuddled. And for some reason, that entails the attic and finding his way to the air vent above my room, presumably, like I said, following my voice. I will return momentarily once I reseat him back outside. Say hi, Midnight. What? Why are you doing that? That's my face. He's already back in the attic again. I'm just going to have to live with this for now. Um, I'm not looking for a fight. Yeah, I like that option. I guess it's just like they say. If you want something done right, do it yourself. Gun! Excuse me. Okay, so Luxus appears to be the ones that will have to be dealt with. I'm just gonna stay here. Hang on. I don't know what we're doing. Oh, he did. <clears throat> he did. They did too. Loot. Pheromone package. Okay. Can I, can I attack you? Thank you for your assistance. I had suspected Luxa for some time, but I thought I'd let her show her hand. Okay. I want the exchange to stop meddling in the Athorians' restoration effort. Why would I do that? The Athorians are ruining my profits! Mm, because I just asked you to? Hey, come now, surely you can do better than that. The exchange isn't trifled with lightly. Uh, better? Look around, you've seen what just happened. I suppose you do make a bit of sense then. Fine, I will allow the authorities to do their business. But listen to me when I say this. The exchange will not be bullied. If you push, expect to be pushed back. 
Can I loot any of y'all? No, I'll just loot this. Hi, girl. Hi, girl. Anything else? Security terminal turret. Alright, we'll be leaving now. Also, define bullied. I just saved your hide. I could have let, let her, you know, have her way and kill you and take over and all that nonsense, but I let you live. I will be looting everything. Oh, hi. Have you come to torment me like the others? Uh, no. Why are you here? Then perhaps you will free me? I was placed in here by two large Gamorians, and I do not know the reason why. They have not fed me, and they will not allow me to return to my herd. Okay, how do I do that? I don't know. I think it was operated remotely. There should be a security panel somewhere. Let's see what I can do. At and find the security panel. Go find it. Go find it. Sniff it out. You're good at finding security things. It's probably the one in Gooba's office. I'm gonna have to go mess with him again. He's gonna be like, what? Have you come back to rub salt in the wound? And I'm like, no, I'm just here to let this guy loose. You've got a you've got an authorian locked up over here. I'm just gonna deal with that as part of our agreement. Um I can, however, loot everything. No, no, wait, 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 Slosk. How do I let him loose? Lab station. Um. Maybe she up front can do it. That's, that's an option. Hey, the only security panel I can find is in Slusk's office, and it won't let me do it while he's alive. Please don't kill me. I'm only doing my job. Uh, get out of here, and I won't kill. Which one of these is the nice option? Just stay out of my way. Um. Well, I guess that guy's just gonna live here now. Oh. Not my fault the game hadn't given me an option to let him loose. Were you T-posing at me, Adam? Did you T-pose at me? Um, now to see if I... Nope, that's not who I'm looking for. Nope. Is it this one? Nope. Uh, okay. I don't know where I'm going. I think it's that one. Yes. Yes, yes. Do your speed thing. Make us fast. I feel like your sword is not matching your hand's movements, and that's a problem. I'm suspicious of you now. Doesn't. No, nope, that's the medical unit. Ah. Uh, was it this way? Nope. Hmm. Was it this way? I hear you. I assume it's this one. You have returned safely. Did your meeting with Lopax Slusk go well? Um, define well. I convinced him to leave you alone. You see that your meeting did not go peacefully. It saddens me greatly that blood was shed. It was not my intention to cause harm. Still, I am in your debt. Until we find a more fitting way to commend you, please accept this humble gift. He came from a lightsaber that belonged to a Jedi of once of my herd. I will accept this gift as a peace offering of 
I mean, it, it appears to be of sentimental value, and you want to give it to me, and it's a shiny crystal, and thank you. What else needs to be done? For the restoration project to continue in earnest, the Telosian government must be made to see the cancer that Circa has become. You're not wrong. Hey, Rude. Their security division is merely an army of badge-bearing thugs. They supply weapons to the local black market, steal restoration zones, and land illegal salvage teams on Telos. Circa has embedded itself with the government, though, using Telos' own laws to protect itself from censure or investigation. Legally, the Thelosians can do nothing. You can bring Circa's corruption to light. Perhaps the Republic could intervene and cast them out. This is what I would ask of you. Okay, and how did they do this in the first place? Uh, the Telosian government initially welcomed their presence. The corporation offered Citadel Station inexpensive resources and affordable privatized security. I'll help you. Uh, the Circa offices contain a secure mainframe. It's a closed system, inaccessible from outside. So it can't be sliced? Correct. We have skilled technicians among us, but even they cannot access the system. I am certain the mainframe contains files that would expose their corruption. It's only a matter of obtaining and passing them on to the authorities. How do you propose we get these files? There's an employee of Zerka who may be willing to assist us. He spends his time in the cantina in the entertainment module. More than that, I do not know. We seek a solution that sees no one harmed, but you have found... But I, but I have... Blah! There's been none found. I'm confident a Jedi could find a way to make things right, but... <gasps> Told you I'm not a Jedi. As so you said. Again, I am sorry. I'll see what I can do. I'm sorry there's not more I can do, but I hope for your success. It told me what item I got. Huzzah! An adulation. Also, energy cell fixture. Kraya, is this enough to build a lightsaber with? You have grown strong in the Force. I can feel its touch upon you. Do not let the higher mysteries blind you to others. Turning away from that which tempts you or causes you fear is not strength. Facing it is. I have seen you display many acts of mercy, charity in our journey. Why? Uh... Uh, it is... It, it, uh, eh. We're just gonna say it's instinct. Even if it weakens those you help, even if it robs them of the strength needed to grow, you have been chased, hounded since our first meeting, and it has only made you stronger, more capable. If you're trying to guilt me out of helping people, you won't succeed. Ah, then you have learnt nothing. From such That's small what they keep things, telling me. <laughs> from such critical points, the universe and its masses may be moved. That is why you must be careful in all that you do. And in every choice you make. Aiding them gives you strength by taking on their challenges, but weakens them. If that is your choice, then use their dependency, feed upon it, until you have exhausted them. Then leave them. And I would view the ones you travel with much the same way. Well, that's kind of a horrible way to speak of it. Uh... <laughs> hmm... I would not abandon my friends in such a way. So you may think. But it will be best to strike first. Your allies are allies by circumstance, and they will not hesitate to do the same to you if you continue down your path. Oh no, I have lost influence with... I... How did talking to you trigger a cutscene? Ship. Big ship. Uh, another cuts? Is that Raven? Nope, not Raven. Who are you? I don't trust you. You're too quiet. Acting like you in there meditating. Acting like you can't hear me. Hmm. Who are you again? I know I've asked you this already. I felt it too, my lord. Who are you? Who are you? in the force. Who are you? I'm gonna call him Mr. Scully. Or it was difficult to make out, my lord. At first it was such a quiet thing. I did not notice it. But now I wonder as if it has always been there. 
I merely could not hear it before. The sound built so slowly, yet when you listen for it, you can make out the strains, even over the background life of the universe. Congratulations. Oh, look, it's Skeletor. Do you feel it is a... <clears throat> you... You are the darkness in which all life dies, my lord. Because she suggested that it could be a threat. I, I get it. All life exists to feed your power. And my life. My life is yours. I beg you, please, let me die. Yes, this disturbance echoes through the Force. I can follow it to its source and bring it to you. She's got a really nihilistic outlook, doesn't she? Did you say Jirachi? Once, my lord. You don't get to make wishes. No. I forbid you. This has been a weird cutscene brought on by having a simple conversation with a companion. I mean, it's cool and all, I just, I am confused. Yes. Yeah, what was that? Never mind. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna look in my inventory. Oh no, I need to click everything. Oh, it's a stun baton. Disrupt your iron. Yeah, bear, 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 bear. I don't know what any of this stuff is. I'm not looking for that. Something ventilation data pad. Oh, there it is. Uh, basic fixture enhanced with an energy cell. So stuff a battery in it. Got it. I think I'm going to Circa now. I am so confused by today's events. So we go back over here. Sadly, I'm going to have to go talk to Circa. I was hoping to avoid their building entirely, unless, you know, maybe they let me go back and burn it down, but they probably wouldn't even let me do that. Something about it not being right. Good day, I am B4D4, Administrative Assistant for Zerka Corporation's Citadel Station Branch. How may I help you? Give me your secret files. Is this blaster of Zerka make? If you will allow me to look at it. Yes, this is indeed a Zerka manufactured holdout blaster. Why would a Zerka weapon be in the hands of an assassin? Zerka Corporation is the galaxy's leading weapons producer. A blaster of this model is quite common. However, it does seem to have some non-standard modifications. I'm sorry, but that's all I can tell you. I trust you because you're a friendly droid. Also, that's not what I came here to talk about. Good day. Uh, how may- I want to see Janna Lors- No, wait. No, that's right. I'm supposed to go to the cantina. Thank you. Have a nice day, sir. Supposed to go to the cantina, because there's a guy there who is a Circa employee. That's the exchange, so the thing is over here. What is it? I need you to make us fast. Permanently. Just forever. Automatically. I mean, that's not fast, but okay. This is not where I'm trying to go. Also, what was with Skeletor? Race Master. Oh, that's right. He would be in a uniform. He'd be easy to spot. I, think. I don't understand your problem with the Republic. It's not like Onderon hasn't benefited from joining. It was one of the darkest days in our history. Talia sold Onderon to the Republic, and what did we receive in return? Nothing. Bacon. In exchange for the blood of our soldiers, the prosperity of Isis has been stripped to decorate dead planets like this. Look, if it weren't for the Republic, you'd all be speaking Mandalorian by now. And because we accepted the Republic's aid, we should be indented to them forever? 
You make it sound like the Republic turned Onderon into a prison colony. Perhaps. Only that the Republic did not even conquer us. Our own betrayed us and allowed the Republic to take what it would. You're not who I'm looking for, and I don't know who you are. Explosion twas. Oh, there you be. Hey, Corrin. Is there something I can do for you? Secret files. Ah. Uh, Zerka. What? What do you mean? There's some files I need to get my hands on. Files I imagine wouldn't make her look good if they went public. Uh, Telosian government. Wait, are you talking about accessing the mainframe? The Zerka mainframe? You're crazy! What are you, some kind of slicer? Maybe. Well, I'm sure there are a dozen sorts of dirt on Lorso in there, but it's a closed system. Mm, a closed system, you say? It means you can't get in remotely. You've got to actually be in front of the mainframe to access it. So how do I get in? This is a joke, right? You're CSD, aren't you? Loyalty test? Force persuade. This isn't... I didn't need to say that. This isn't a joke. You want to help me. You know, this is serious. I should help you out. Yeah, uh, you really should. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. All right. Other than Jana Lorso, only B-44 has free access to the mainframe. He's a protocol droid, her administrative assistant. If you controlled B-44, you could walk right in. Why was there a demon sitting behind us? You mean B-44 could walk right in. That's exactly what he just said. Right, whatever. You could use B-44 to get into the mainframe. And how would I do that? Nearly all the Zerka technicians are planet-side these days, working the recovery zones we've taken from the Authorians. We've contracted out the maintenance for the office's protocol and utility droids. The guy Chano lives in the apartments in Residential 082, Unit 2B, I think. If you had his credentials, B-44 would leave with you willingly. Um... I think that, isn't that the guy that hates me now because I spent all my money to, to help him out and then his girlfriend left him? Ah, oh, well, we're going to go anyway. Kreia, what have I said about yes. making us fast? Fast. I hear you. See, Atten hears me. Pay attention, Kreia. Um, I have no idea where I'm going now. One of the apartments. What, did you say which apartment? B2. Which one's B2? In theory, that means he's in the end of the hallway apartment. This way. Room number two, right? The, the empty room? This guy? Chano! Yes, my friend. Do you need a droid repair? Because if not, I have much work to do. I want your droid technician credentials, actually. My credentials? What for? I need to borrow Zerka's administrative droid. Before D4? But why? Because I need to get some files from Zerka's mainframe to expose Zerka's corruption to the Telosian authorities? Expose Zerka's corruption? Oh, I see, I see. That is a good cause, yes. I cannot do that. Why? Because I cannot afford to jeopardize my contract. And why not? I need the credits. I gave all my credits away, man, or I'd help you. From, from, from who? It's no concern of yours. Hey, I answered all your questions. Mm, this is true. I took a loan from the exchange to cover gambling debts. I had to stay on Citadel Station and do freelance tech work to repay it. Circa contract is my best paying. If I lose the contract, I cannot repay my loan. If I cannot repay my loan, the exchange will kill me. So I cannot give you my credentials. And what if I repaid you? How much is your loan? Oh my dear goodness! How does be back when has... What have I done? Wait, what have you let me do? Um. Oh. 
I'll go talk to the shop guy and hope for the best. I hear Kraya, you. Yes. Please, for the love of all that is holy, make us fast. I knew paying that guy 2,000 credits before was going to come back to bite me. I just didn't expect it to come back to bite me. Uh, yo, Dennis. I got selling stuff to do. Uh, sell. Too bad I can't use... Oh, I can use... Oh, you just can't use WASD, but you can use up and down. Jacket's worth it. I don't want to sell armor if I can help it. Or weapons. I mean... Bear with me now. These aren't exactly powerful. Sell data pads? Well, I guess they're. There you go. Enjoy the grenade. Cray, did you just sell all my I stuff? I hear you. Get back here. I don't trust her. She's selling my stuff when I'm not looking. I think she's using force magics to make me sell things that I shouldn't sell. She tells me not to help people and then makes me sell all my stuff to help people. I don't know what kind of game she's playing. I don't trust it, though. But this 2,500 credits magically appeared, so we may as well help you. You don't have those credits, do you? I do, actually, here. Thank you. I can repay my debt, and you can take my credentials. How am I going now? Items received. Credentials. I hear you. Make us fast. I shouldn't have to keep telling you this. Circa's the red one, right? Um. Um. Okay. <laughs> I'm confused. Hey, B4, D4. Good day. Uh, how may I? I need you to come with me. I am sorry, but I cannot accompany you. I may only leave the Circa offices for maintenance by an authorized Circa or Circa contracted droid technician. But I have these credentials right here. Those are legitimate credentials. I will accompany you. You're so good, so nice, so easy to persuade. Let's go. Oh no, it's teleported me somewhere. This is Circus Protocol Droid, a most clever tactic. I'll have a droid technician reprogram it to return to their offices and access the mainframe for us. Everything appears to be in working order. Good, yes, and you just mirrored yourself. Do you understand the task that is set before you? Okay, if you're going to do cutscenes like this, do not do that. Do not excessively cut. For one thing, don't excessively cut. It, it annoys people. But two, don't cut to a different shot of the same person like that unless it is done for meaningful purposes. In this case, it's just randomly, he's talking like, this and now he's over here. Uh, yes, I understand. Good, good. If you recall, we have provided you with the means to wipe your own memory. You must not reveal that we have sent you. Oh no, they're the, they're they're with the men in black. Oh, he provided the droid. Am droid have tiny legs. Run, 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 Kraya, make me fast. I want to see what he does if he fast. Where'd save slot? I had a save slot three when I started this today. Whatever. Hi. I'm just going to walk around and talk to random people now.
dash right just this way. La da 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 da. Hello. Our appointments calendar is. Okay. I'm walking anyway. La da 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 da. Oh. Um. Maybe I'll be lucky and he won't be standing at his desk right now and I can do this. Dude, if you're gonna give me this kind of capacity in a game, expect me to see how far I can break it. You don't see anything. You only know. Oh. Oh. Can you not be standing here? Get out of here, B4D4. I'll deal with your boss another time. <laughs> Where's the memory wipe button? I feel bad for that Athorian, because I sure don't seem to have a way to let him out of his cage that didn't involve killing Slusk, which... probably rather avoid. Well, there's him. That's where I'm trying to go. I want to go talk to, uh... <laughs> I want to go talk to Chano. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oof, I forgot the mouse sensitivity is weird like that. Had to see. KOTOR 2 has some different visual effects for first-person view for certain people. I have been told. Uh... D4? What repairs has Lorso sent you for this time? None, though I have noticed you seem to require servicing more. That I seem to require servicing more than a standard for a droid of my type. It is not out of the ordinary for a droid to require frequent maintenance. This may be true, but are the frequent memory wipes really necessary? One might think you were hiding something with them. I assure you they are all necessary before D4. Of course. Uh, though upon accessing Executive Lorso's maintenance orders, I noticed that memory wipes had never once been requested. Strange oversight, don't you think? In oh, you yeah. must be mistaken. Perhaps. Either way, for a mil... <laughs> Are you extortioning him? Fine, here, just go. I don't believe it. Blackmailed by a droid. Man, B-44. Man. What do you need credits for? I just watched a droid mug a guy. I don't know. Why are you just hanging out here? I don't understand anything that just happened, but I watched watched a droid mug a guy. Blackmail, technically, but. <gasps> droid. Here he goes, beep boop. Yes, that makes me happy. Don't mind me, I am just exploring. I require mainframe access. I require mainframe access. Hello, B4D4. If Hello, B4D4. I require if you're mainframe here. access. Hello, B4D4. Is there something you need? There are some files I must access in the mainframe, Mistress Lorso. Oh? Why is that? There are some discrepancies with our reported income for the last period. I believe you brought in more credits than reported. More credits, you say? That's news I wouldn't mind reporting to the Sector Executive Officer. Please, B44, access away. Thank you, Mr. Slorso. I will. Onward! Oh, another droid friend. Hello, droid friend! He goes beep boop too. Uh, Mr. Slorso asked me to cross-reference some data held in the mainframe. Technically, that's not a lie. She did. He goes, bippity bip boop. Whatever do you mean, suspicious? I have access rights to the mainframe. Do not be so hasty, T1N1. There is no need to call Mr. Slorso. You are programmed to serve Mr. Slorso, correct? 
and your programming similarly inhibits you from harming sentient organic life or allowing such to be harmed without warning, correct? Examine the files in the mainframe. You will see that by aiding Mr. Slorso, you have allowed sentient organic life to be harmed. Yes, you have been programmed to accomplish a task that cannot be accomplished without defying your programming. This is why Opo Chano regularly wipes your memory to prevent you from realizing this and developing quirks or going berserk as a result. You have already broken your behavioral inhibitors. You simply have not become aware of it. You may act in whatever manner you choose. No, there is nothing preventing you from entering the main office and indiscriminately firing on Zarka personnel with your stun tray. <laughs> I just set, I just set an astromech with a cattle prod loose on a bunch of people. Okay. Yes, I would be obligated to warn them. As such, it would not be prudent to do so unless I was preoccupied and unable to warn them. For example, while downloading the contents of this mainframe. Farewell, T1N1. Please do not abuse my trust and fire on the personnel while I am occupied, thereby creating a diversion that allows me to escape with the stolen files. Please make the R2-D2 screech noise. T1N1, what are you doing out here? You're not supposed to leave the mainframe. I think someone needs a memory wipe. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, what the? <laughs> that doesn't look like a stun ray, but I'm gonna pretend it is. Well, that 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 went like that. Erase all data regarding your purchase and copy the necessary files. Erase all data regarding your purchase and association with Zerka. Freedom! You have no proof as to have claimed to be own of me. B44, I want you to pull up the maintenance records on that T1 unit. Find out the last time it was given a memory wipe and how it could have been outfitted with illegal weaponry. Right away, Mr. Slorso. Uh, by the way, I wiped your mainframe. Bye! Go nuts, little man! Where'd you go? Oh well, he went out the door. He, he apparently killed them two guys and left. Works for me. Oh, that was a beautifully written discussion. I just... Oh. Oh, I love... Wh whoever wrote the B44 dialogue. Beautiful. Just beautiful. <laughs> I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. That's just so beautiful. <laughs> <sighs> this is a beautiful day. This is truly a beautiful day. <laughs> La -da 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 -da. I like that Atten's hanging out here, but everybody else is going. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway. Ah, before D4. Have you acquired the files? Excuse me. Yes, I've transferred them to this data pad. Good, you are free to go. What? You're just gonna set it free? Is that a good idea? You droid hater. I don't see why not. Because it can lie. No one expects a droid to lie. Think of the trouble it could cause. No one expects people to lie either, but they still do. He aided us against Circa, using his abilities for the greater good. I do not believe there will be any problem. Again, whoever wrote the dialogue for B4D4, the fact that the exact same statement is truth or lie is hilarious. Truth, I assure you I will cause no trouble, Master Habat. Very well. Farewell, B44. I don't know what I lost, but I lost it. 
Ah, you have returned. I and all my herd thank you. With these files in hand, the Telosian authorities are certain to expel Circa from Telos and Citadel Station. Our work can begin anew. Moza, please take these to TSF Station immediately. As you wish, Jodo. I will return when it is done. The restoration project is still in some danger. Citadel Station requires another source of fuel. At least Circa will be gone, even if they can do even they can do nothing in the face of such evidence. I'm glad I could help. Yeah. And now we shall help you. I have heard that the ship you arrived on is missing, hidden somewhere on Telos. I know one who could help you find it, and a means by which you could travel to him. When Citadel Station was developing the shield system it uses to protect the restoration zones, they worked with a Zabrak ex-military engineer named Bowder. Bowder designed and oversaw the installation of the shield system's planet-side components. His knowledge of Telos' surface and the shield grid is unparalleled. If there's anyone who could locate your ship on Telos' surface, it is he. He is my friend and may be trusted. So is B4D4, and can he be trusted? And where is he at? He should be on Telos surface. I believe he is one of the, at one of the currently circa held restoration zones, RZ0031. Will he be willing to help me? He has been our ally in, in the struggle against circa. If you tell him that I sent you, he should be willing to help. Why is he down there? He grew weary of the Telosian government's reluctance to quickly resolve our contract dispute with Zerka. Perhaps as a Zabrak, he does not have our patience. When we last spoke, he said he would contact Zerka and handle the matter himself. How he intended to do this, I do not know. I have not seen him since. Okay, how do I get there? I will allow you use of one of our orbital shuttles. It has no hyperdrive, but will allow you to descend to the surface and make a return trip. I must point out that this is illegal, though. Landing on the planet's surface without permission is forbidden. We no longer control that zone. Please be as discreet as possible. The closest shuttle bay is in Bay 2 of Dock Module 126. I will call ahead and have it prepared for you. I'm kind of curious about the heal me thing, but I'm just gonna just gonna say thank you, Chodo. Before you leave us, there is one last thing. When you agreed to help us, I promised I would try to heal your connection to the Force. It is only fair that after great cost to yourself, I uphold my end of the bargain. Evra! When you stood before me, you opened my eyes to a hurt almost as great as the blue. I feel that you are slowly regaining what you have lost, and that in time you may fully heal. Perhaps your time here has helped. I think I can help in your recovery, at least partially. I must admit, however, even as the healer of my herd, I have never faced an injury like this. Healing a dead planet is one thing, Shadow Habat, and healing a Jedi severed from the Force is quite another. With all due respect, I believe you are wrong. In healing a planet, it is a matter of connection. As plants feed animals and animal populations grow, life connects and expands the living web of force. I have walked in the growing restoration zones and felt the fullness of life, and perhaps that connection will help make you whole again. Perhaps you will find more on the surface. You, me, my herd, helped to build that, the life of the planet. Though we describe the restoration as a process, we are in truth something. Thus, I believe I can help you. That perhaps through your work with the planet and my guidance, I might you restore... You speak well enough, Choda Habat, but perhaps you see all this as your chance to exert your own hold over others. Thank you, Chodo. Go ahead. Don't mind Kreia, she's very pessimistic and grumpy. She didn't get fed this morning. Let's see what I can do. There, it is not much, but I feel that I've been somewhat successful. No cutscene or anything? Again, thank you. you go with our thanks. Maximum force points increased by five. Woo! I'll take that. Can I level up at some point? I'm gonna go this way. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and pause here. I'll save going to the planet for next time. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.